why I am not recommending these two. Let me ask you, how many videos have you seen of manicured hands flicking this Chavez Redención X-Log Blue Label $85 knife? I stopped counting at 57. Let me tell you, youngsters, the only way to show this brand is with a skull clip and a tanto blade. What should you do with a sanitized non-skull clip that these knives ship with? Give them away to your bug out friends because it does fit, but it will add 30% to the bug out's weight. Which ones should you choose? Which ones should you stay away? Choose these, stay away from these, and here's why. I tested both versions of Redencion, coated blade and uncoated, for hardness, and here are the results. As always on this channel, we verify calibration of the Rockwell tester first, using this independently certified, serialized and calibrated test block. It's rated to be at 62 HRC, and the result is 62.2 HRC as it should be. Starting with a Cerakoted blade, from which I removed said Cerakoting before testing for hardness. Just enough coating was removed to test the blade. Zero is set, let's go. Poke number one, accelerated 2x, because it takes 10 seconds to apply all the load. And the results are coming at 57.2 HRC. That's not good. 58.1 on the second poke, that's bare minimum for D2 steel. Let's see on the third poke, 57.5. For the pitiful average of 57.6. Now, this is one of many knives. Yours may be different. Here's the uncoated blade test. Here it is, thanks to my buddy who let me borrow his knife. This is going to be a popular knife, 60.8. We are now in the ideal range for the steel. 60.9 HRC, 61, 62 is achievable and preferable for D2 steel. 61.1 for the average of 60.9. Conclusion, adding Cerakoting to a D2 blade potentially lowers its hardness. Okay, but why am I not recommending Protec Auto Redencion made in US? Please watch this video linked below to find out. This is so not like Riyadh. I'm starting to doubt they actually made the knives. Maybe they farmed it out. This Protec Redencion is the flimsiest Protec I've ever tested. This 229 Redencion Blue Label is a fantastic knife, and so is the X-Log with uncoated blade. And that's why 